you know, one of these days, I'm going to have to go over my entire Transformers collection. But, for right now, I'm quite happy. So, thought I'd open these and transform these for you. I just picked these up today. This is a Masterpiece Collection 15 Ravage, or, or Jaguar as he's known in Japan, and Rumble. Now, unlike the cartoon, Rumble the toy is red. Or is it backwards? One of the two. In the cartoon, they called one uh, Rumble and one Frenzy. But in, when you get to the toys, the names are reversed. So I'm calling this, since this is what it says on the packaging, this guy is Rumble. Now, the interesting thing is these are actually the same size as the original cassettes. Let's see if I can figure out how to transform this without looking at the instructions. Looks like that comes out. So that's going to form a leg. There, in the front of the box here. Oh, that's right. It's forward. Comes down. Around. Like that. It's got a really big boots. It's kind of one why I'm wondering if I have it mistransformed or not. Ah, yes. There we go. Extend the leg. Like that. Now this is actually reminiscent of the original Transformer. I might grab him in a little bit, just for a comparison. But in the original, these arms folded up like this and then pushed the head down. Whereas here, the head just seems to flip up and rotate somehow. And then rotate. See if I can get the hand out here like that. And like that. For a lot of these transformers, I haven't had to look at the instructions in ages because once you get the general gist of how they transform, you can usually just take a look at the transformation lines and figure them out as you go. So that's Rumble. Rumble even comes with uh, his rumble hammers, a little pack to carry them, and two guns, which I'm not going to open right yet. This was a display version, I believe, so I actually got it for a little bit cheaper than it would have been otherwise. Now, got a Ravage here. I'm calling him Ravage. It says Jaguar in the package. I grew up with him as Ravage, so he's Ravage, okay? Oh, ha ha, Steven. Sheila Buff action figure. Really? Yes, he's pinging me on Facebook. Posted a picture of these. Hmm, Ravage is going to be a little more complex. One of the things I'm noticing about Ravage is that the uh, backpack he carries in the cartoon a pair of, uh, like, thrusters or weapons of some kind on his hips. And they appear to be built right in. Okay, so there's the feet. Hmm. If I do the other two, I'm probably going to do it in a separate video as opposed to continuing this one. Ah, both feet are there. That folds down somehow? I don't want to break this. Ah, wait. Ah, his head. Interesting. So there's his head. Oh, 
folks that way and then that way where's the tail ah right there that makes sense tail is that you get going to be able to make it make that out but actually here I'm going to show you there's the tail Out of here, that that like that. Hmm. Well, he's a lot of lucky. And now it's just a matter of rotating everything into position. Hmm. I actually don't think Ravage looks as good in this form. I mean, he's definitely got more depth than the other one, which was really flat. But now. I think he looks a little too thin. Hmm. Anyway, yep, that's uh, that's Ravage and Rumble. All do Lambor and uh, Alert or Sideswipe and Red Alert in another video. Okay, just for comparison Please. here, this is the original. Rumble toy. It's a little bit loose. And compare it to the Masterpiece version. Eh, pretty similar. And as you can see here, let's fold down, rotate, push the foot out. Come on. The foot is metal. I don't want to push it too hard. Trust me. Oh, there we go. It just takes a little bit of pressure to get it out, but it has to be continuous. And eventually it will just slide out without breaking anything. There we go. And this is what I was getting at. See how the hand kind of pushes down into the head. You pull the head out and the, oops, backwards. <laughs> you pull the arm out and the head just pops up. A little bit simpler. Mine's, as I say, mine's in pretty good condition. A little bit loose. Stickers are peeling just a little bit, but not too much. And then, I actually have two Ravages to compare them with. So here's the masterpiece Ravage. Here's the original Ravage. And here is the Generations Ravage, and that came with. Uh, how can I how can I not remember his name right now? Uh, the Jeep. Hound. Generations Hound. Ah. Oops. <laughs> so for the original Ravage, you unfold them, fold the tail down, and then pretty much just straighten out the legs. 
course, one of the disadvantages of this transformation is that, as you've probably noticed, there are quite a few gaps in the cassette mode. However, he looks a lot more stocky this way than the Masterpiece one. But his uh, backpack goes on separately. Now for the Generations. This, I actually think, is the best transformation of them all. I wish they had done the Masterpiece one like this. Because having this in just a little bit higher quality plastic with a better paint job would have been really nice. Let's fold away. Let's fold down. Just like that. Tail is right there. Now, as you can see, this adds a lot more depth. And there's and there's no good side, bad side. Both sides are pretty badass. And while it doesn't come with the weapons, you can add the weapons from the Generation 1 uh, Ravage to him. So, okay. Now, see you later, everybody.